All right, I'm out here walking around with Mikey. <laughs> Mikey, everybody, and we're checking out, like, you know, Electras and all kinds of different things out here, and we're not too sure what we're gonna do. Here, let me spin it around so you can see us both. Here we go, so we're both see? actually together okay. at the same time. We're here, it's the not. Same Photoshop. Yep, no dubbing. <laughs> here we go. Right on, oh, oh. Here goes my man's got again. business, oh, frig sakes. All right, boys, Mikey's gonna tell us a little bit about some of these cars that are sitting here in the hangar. Well, you know, you know, with, uh, you know, ice pots and everything, everyone's always sick of airplanes, but sometimes you have cars uh, right in front of me. We got a 1940 Ford. Um, my father bought this one off his high school nurse who bought it brand new in Edmonton. So my father's only the second owner. And as you can see, the last time he had it on the road was 1975. Yeah. So that was a long time before I was born. Uh, so she's basically in original condition. Um, you know, it's, it's an amazing, it's probably one of the best examples around. This one is a 49 Merc. This one is like a, a loose replica from Rebel Without a Cause with uh, James Dean. And as you can see, last time we had that one running it was about 1992. 92, eh? Uh, it's uh, nine years old. Uh, this one's personally my favorite. This is a 51 shot Merc. Um, you know, it's being chopped, channeled, everything. These two cars were, you know, basically the same frame. So you can see the difference. Um, you can see uh, when you mean chopped, you know, the roof is being chopped down to give it that lower look. It's been uh, channeled. Um, this is actually on a 78 Cougar frame. Um, with all, everything's custom on it. And, and it's fun, it's fun. These guys got flathead Fords. This has got 351 Windsor in it. A little bit more easier deal if these flathead Fords take half a day to get running. <laughs> um, yeah, and here's the corner in the hangar. Um, here's another interesting part. Uh, Arctic Air, which is a show on CBC here in Canada. Um, is filmed in the hangar here and you could you could kind of see you know the similarities between the two shows but they've got these tarps up here so when they start filming that show which is a you know a complete drama ice spots of course real just follows us uh arctic air is drama so they got these big uh tarps here and when they're here they lower the tarps get rid of the cars and they do all their acting here here's a nice a neat little uh tidbit um here's our Here's our loose motto at Buffalo Airways here, but uh, when uh, when they when the uh, when Arctic Air shows up, they change all the signage. So I keep this one there. Oh, so come there jump. you go. So they got these fake signs everywhere when they come up for their for their shoot. So uh, that's uh, so that's kind of like behind the scenes of this little corner here. Right on. Um, we got uh, you know an airplane. Everyone always asks, why is that airplane up there? Um, and the simple answer is it gets in the way. <laughs> you know, a C-46 uh, doesn't really blow around in the wind. Uh, that's TXW. Um, she's pretty uh, solid. But that's a fleet connect, and you can see the thing's, you know, light as a piece of paper. So, uh, you know, you got to babysit it. So, what do you do with a, a, a good a kid? You just hang it from the roof and you don't have to worry about that's it. That's right. A wind would flip that guy right over, I bet, eh? So here's, uh, you know, here's the office. This is my brother's office here. It's where he works, but everyone's at lunch. Of course, I don't eat. I'm not human. So, uh, so you know, we got some engines here. Here's uh, my personal favorite. This is an R2800. This is uh, you know a Pratt Mini. Oh my goodness. Out of the C46, and uh, it failed. So. Um, uh oh. Yeah, she uh, she didn't light. December 12, 2011, was her last day at work. Um, here's another little interesting thing. Tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, our uh, our former chief pilot Arnie Schrader passed away, and uh, we're getting the hangar ready tomorrow for a big memorial. Uh, Arnie, one of my favorite moments with Arnie was uh, we did dam busting, uh, which is uh, you know a pretty crazy project. You should check it out. It's uh, us trying to you know blow up a dam in Mackenzie, BC by skipping a bomb. But here's the rig. Here's the rig that uh, we bolted on the bottom of the on the DC4, and uh, it's course upside down right now. And so if you can imagine this thing like this, this bomb, uh, this is the forward part. We had to spin this thing backwards at about 1300 RPM. We had a little gun, so we knew. This little sensor here went to the cockpit to show uh, what it was going. So it hits these reflective tapes, uses that you know, as their mathematically machine to figure it all out. But at 1300 RPM, by the time Arnie took off and got positioned to drop out of the dam, we only lost, I think it, we dropped around 900 RPM, because it, it's not being powered, right? So what we had was drills on the end of these, these uh, on the end of here, 
and we just spun her up and went. So, spun her up and let her go. So Arnie, at, uh, on the DC-4, was uh, about 45 feet, 200 mile an hour, um, and he's about, I don't know, probably a quarter mile away from the dam, and he, he dropped it and hit her right dead center. So. Nailed her. Nailed her. So that's, uh, that's it. So uh, we brought it out for, for Arnie's memorial tomorrow. I'm going to clean it up and get everyone to sign it. And I'll hang it on the wall and it can retire and all that stuff. Another quick thing, this is the duck. This is NCS. Uh, we bought this one off eBay. So who You says, can really get anything on eBay, can't yeah, you? Who says the internet's useless, eh? Yeah. It's, uh, it's not that much of a waste of time, but uh, yeah, it's uh, NCS. We bought that off eBay, so yeah. Right on. Buy anything from used girls' underwear to CL2 teams. There you go. Right. Airplanes and underwear all on eBay, folks. So I hope you like the 50 cent backyard tour of uh, the hangar. Well, thanks, Mike. I really appreciate it. That's awesome, you know. Buy anytime. You know, just like, just like I was telling you guys earlier, these guys, they're just like me and you. You know, they're... they're we're, we're a little bit shorter. A little shorter, <laughs> but they're just regular <laughs> peoples, you know, and it's awesome. So, yeah. Good stuff. Right on. Can, can you say my, my catchphrase for me when I when I sign out? What's what's that? You gotta say Hakalugi one out. Hakalugi one out? Yeah, there you right go. On. Done. Hakalugi one out. Hakalugi one Thanks out. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys later.